send it back through. We got a mic. You can just play that mic there again. Cause I'm here to serve. Push coming to serve. Ain't gonna sound right through the phone. He said ain't gonna sound right through the phone. We ain't got no choice. How loud is your phone? Joaquin Thompson, senior, coming to you live from Liverpool. 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 Liverburn. Liverburn. That's like little country people. Liverburn or what have you, man. Lib, but, um, <laughs> just like, I mean, every time I come on here, I'm like, man, I'll be down. I ain't like down, but I'm like, every time I get on here, man, I get super hyped. Like, I get an injection, man, or something. So, um, glad to be here. Got some, got some awesome topics we want to talk about. We're going to jump in tonight. But uh, for those of you all that are joining for the first time, never been on the show, never heard the show, heard about the show, Maybe you, you listening to it, somebody referred you, what have you, but just to give you a real quick overview. This show is about personal finance from a spiritual perspective. That's it. Personal finance from a spiritual perspective because we feel on the Daily Bread Radio Show that every single thing that we do is tied to personal finance. So I was, you know, looking through my social media today and uh, I noticed, Pat Farm, I see you on, and I see you had a little run in. I want to make sure, I'm glad to see you on and not... Not down there with JSO. Because uh, yeah. she said somebody, you know, young lady ran into her, then was, mm. you know, being a little, you know, disrespectful. Mm. But um, again, tied into personal finance, right? Because if she don't have insurance or the lady acting crazy or this, that, yeah. it's tied back. Hey, man, they about to go outside. Are you kicking us out? Who, who, yeah, bro, y'all can't, can't be talking like that on the air. What's up? Where, where you from? Bro, go on with that, man. Go on with that, man. Y'all can go outside and talk, bro. But, um, yep. so you, everything that we do, even that. So you got a producer, man, that want to be talking all the time. Hey, <laughs> your say, person, say, if your say, personal say, finance just, right, just say the P word. Hey, man. Hey. Say the P word. Say the P word. If your personal finance ain't right, word. then you, you know, you can do like, say, man, you can, you know, be gone. You know what I'm saying? But if your money ain't right, then you got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times in life, we have to deal with it because, you know, we made some choices and because of the choices that we made, we don't have the, the stability nor the opportunity to do the things that we really want to do. So you just have to kind of take it. So everything is tied to personal finance. The holiday season, the new year coming up, 2019. This should be an exciting time for everybody. I mean, everybody should be happy. One, you know, God has blessed us with seeing another year. I mean, everything with, you know, hopefully nothing happens between now and next week on the 31st. And we move into, we're going into another dimension, 2019. So just with that, just to be able to be blessed, to be in that space, to be in 2019 and be able to say, hey, you know what? I get it. You know, God blessed me with another one. And um, all of the things that I did in 2018 that didn't go, you know, totally my way, guess what? I could do a, an evaluation, which is always good. You can always go back and do an evaluation, see where you are. And then see where you need to be. Or see where you want to be. You know, just say, okay, maybe I ain't hit the target this year. Maybe I got it 80% right. Maybe I got it 70 Maybe I got it 10% right. I don't know. But then you can sit down. This is a good time of year to just sit down and say, what, did, what went according to plan? What didn't go according to plan? And what am I going to do about it next year? Right? Just sit down and do an evaluation. Because most companies in Q4 with a week to go. They already had their budgets, everything, you know, strategic plans in place, all the stuff that they 
really want to do for 2019, all of that's in place. But at the same time, they also are taking time out to say, you know what, I want to see what do we do well in 2018 and what type of things do we need to improve upon. So we should do, you know, take a page from their book and do the same thing and say, I want to see what I did well. And then the things I did do well, I want to improve upon. I want to see if I could do it even better in 2019. You know, go back to 2018. And that way you just don't run off into 2019 without a plan, doing the same things, you know, coming back like, oh, I'm still, it's still not working for me. It'll work. It'll work. But you just have to put the time into it to make sure that it works. Because if you don't take the time to put it into it or to take that look back, and we're not looking back to, to get stuck, right? We're just looking back to do an assessment. We just want to assess where we are what we're doing, what we need to do, and then we go from there. That's that's all we're doing. We're just doing a quick assessment, where we are, what we need to be doing, what we are doing, and then we just go from there. So, you know, the thing about that is we always, we always want to make sure that we evaluate the situation. And uh, Big D, I see you on checking in from Dubai. Pat. Pat Farmer saying, like, Milan, I know I was mad, but good thing she didn't hit me because I would have been, yep, she down with JSO. Now we got to bond Pat out because we can't leave Pat down there over the holidays. We got to bond our sister out to make sure that she can, you know, spend time with the family for the holidays and, you know, get ready for 2019. So that's, you know, one of the things I always want to bring up. The next thing I want to talk about is this. The Daily Bread Radio Show is a show where we don't do religion. And a lot of times I get feedback about different things, diff, you know, the way we do different things, and we don't, we just don't do religion here. I mean, because that's when things just get so murky, they get so gray, and then we get hung up in what people believe in, and where they going, this, that, and other. And we don't want to do that. We, what we're trying to do is, we try to be a spiritual people, utilize the tools that God has given us, and just improve our lives and improve the lives of all our family members around us by taking steps to make our personal finances better because scientifically, I was doing some research this week and they said scientifically, this, this guy, I think his name is Dr. Buss, um, and he won a Nobel Peace Prize about behavioral, check this out, behavioral economics. And basically what he was doing is like studying the brain and how we react when we have different things that are related to economics take place in our lives. And he was saying that, you know, a lot of times when we're, you know, we say our money increase or we make an investment and investment goes the way we want to, we get a stimulated, you know, our brains get stimulated and we have what's known as the release of dopamine. And dopamine is a substance in our body that you feel when you feel, you know, happy, joyous, euphoric. And what dopamine does is, it, the more dopamine that you have firing off in your brain, then you create these new dopamine receptors, right? Your brain is growing, right? But if you have things that are not going your way, if you're not having opportunities, if you're not feeling successful, if you're not feeling like you get the things that you should get from life, then those receptors tend to retract, and then eventually they just fade off. So that's what you... You can find, and he, he won a Nobel Peace Prize for this, so he had a lot of research behind it, a lot of things that he was doing in that space. So, you know.